Good evening, everyone. I'm David Custer. Here's a look at the stories we are following tonight. Four people were found dead after a fire in a Lapeer County mobile home park. Dryden Township Police responded to Victoria Meadows mobile home park around 5 this morning. Investigators found four bodies in one home at the scene. According to police, a woman in her 80s, a 39 year old woman and two teenagers were killed in the fire. The state police fire marshal is on scene assisting with the investigation. Surrounding units sustained damage from the fire, but no other injuries have been reported. The cause of the fire is unknown. Stay with TV5 on air and online as we work to learn more. A 36 year old man was arrested after police say he fled the scene of a crash, leaving behind three critically injured children. The crash happened on Sunday at 4.35 p.m. near State Road and Jackson Road in Bethany Township. The suspect ran a stop sign and was struck by a vehicle in the northbound lane. The children were taken to Covenant in Saginaw and are in serious condition. Investigators found the man hours later hiding in a hunting blind one mile away. He was taken to My Michigan Medical Center in serious condition. The driver of the northbound vehicle was treated for minor injuries. And now here's Chris with your forecast. David, some areas seeing some hazy sunshine early this evening. Others seeing a little bit of rain and snow. It really depends on where you are, but this system as it works its way through tonight, just be careful out on the roads where we're seeing snow, but otherwise that rain should amount to much and shouldn't cause too many issues. As we head through the late evening hours, we should see this wind down pretty quickly after midnight, and then we stay dry through pretty much early Tuesday morning before our next system knocks on the door. Now later tonight, we will be watching our temperatures. We're in the 30s to the north and east, so that's where we're concerned about anything sticking to the roads. And as we work into the rest of the night, some of those areas may have a chance to fall into the upper 20s or at least below freezing, which could lead to a few slippery roads tomorrow morning. This is not going to be an everywhere thing, but something to keep in mind tomorrow. If you head out and you see that thermometer below freezing and you also had a little bit of wet weather during the day on Monday. As for your sky tracker, another system we're watching moving through New Mexico and Texas that on the way for later Tuesday. Tuesday. We'll have a chance for some spotty showers during the day tomorrow, but a dry easterly flow should fight those off most of the day, so anything should be pretty spotty at best. As we head into Tuesday evening, that's when the chances start to go up a little bit, and we'll see a widespread rain move in late Tuesday night into Wednesday. A brief period of freezing rain is also possible early Wednesday morning in our far northern areas. Thankfully, though, that expected to be so brief that we're not expecting too many headaches with that, and we should transition to rain pretty quickly. As as we work through the day on Wednesday, we'll likely see scattered showers continue during the afternoon and evening, so kind of a prolonged stretch of wet weather. How much rain are we expecting? I think over an inch is possible, at least in some spots. Looks like the most likely range between about three quarters of an inch up to about an inch and a quarter, but we'll refine that as we get closer tomorrow. Your first one five seven day forecast shows we've got a good chance of rain on Wednesday, a good chance on Thursday before things finally start slowing down into Friday and also into the the second half of the weekend. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.